All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Derek P. Fields back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Lions uh, and their realistic chances to potentially take control of the division. Now guys, I know it's early. Uh, week six is in the books. Uh, we got one more game, Green Bay and the 49ers. Green Bay isn't looking too hot, neither are the 49ers, so I'm not sure that'll be a, a snooze fest, but depending on Aaron Rodgers and his health, I see the Green Bay Packers being able to pull that one off. So if we include that game that's going to happen uh, in the future and the games that happened yesterday, uh, Detroit is still in last place. We did have a few teams lose yesterday, or I should say one team, specifically the Chicago Bears which was huge for the Detroit Lions because we needed uh, some space to be closed between the two of us. Chicago, which is now leading the division. So I'm referring to my laptop over here for the uh, facts and statistics. Um, Minnesota got the win yesterday. And like I said, Green Bay has yet to play. But I see them getting the win. So either way it goes, Detroit will still be in the fourth place of the NFC North. So my question to Detroit Lions fans is, does, do the Detroit Lions have a realistic chance uh, in the next quarter of the season to take control of the division? Uh, let's check out their schedule here. So we've got, <clears throat> we've got the Packers. I'm sorry, we already played the Packers. We've got the, Dol the Dolphins, and they squeaked out and beat the Bears yesterday, so big ups to them. We got them coming up. Our next, uh, let's just look at our next three games. We've got the Dolphins this Sunday, the Seahawks a week after next, and then November 4th, we are at the Vikings. So out of those three games, only one is at home, which is the one against the Seahawks. So we played them good at home last time. Uh, that's when Calvin Johnson fumbled the ball and my man hit it out of bounds and it should have been back to being our ball, but... That's how it goes for the Lions. So we got two games on the road and one game at home. So, man, I actually believe that all three of those games are, are winnable. And I'm not just talking from a Detroit Lions fan base standpoint. Uh, Dolphins looked real shaky yesterday. Seahawks, I don't know what's going on with them. And the Vikings, they just haven't found their identity yet. Um, Kirk Cousins is <laughs> a lot of money. He got a lot of money, but he is definitely not... Uh, earning that money as of week six in 2018. So I think the Lions, honestly, realistically, will they go 3-0 and over the next three games? Probably not. They could drop all three. I mean, you know, you never know uh, in the NFL. Um, they also could win all three. So I'm not sure there, but I'm just going to go with the what I believe from what I've seen that the Lions can win all three of these games. That will put them at five and three at the halfway point of the season. Um, so if we look at the rest of the NFC, we got the Packers. Let me click on them. All right, so I want to see their schedule. Okay, so the Packers have the 49ers, the Rams, and the Patriots. Now... This game is huge for the Packers. To, uh, is it tonight? The one coming up. The game is huge. Monday Night Football. Huge. They got to get this game. They got to get it, but of course I'm hoping they don't. So that's another thing too, Lions fans. We, are hope, we hope a lot. And I know I can probably speak for all of us. We are tired of hoping and wishing we want our team to come out and dominate from from week one and have people chasing us but it has not happened in a very long time that we're being chased throughout the nfc north so uh they got the 49ers on monday night they've got the rams uh next week and then the patriots so we know the rams are undefeated at uh 6-0 6-0 i believe uh the patriots after losing to us, they done showed up. I mean, yeah, um, Julian Edelman was hurt or was out. He was banned. 
And I'm glad he was out because we needed that win. And, um, yeah, he probably would have made a huge difference. Sorry if I popped right there with the P. So, um, let me see. What do I see them doing? I see. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, guys. Uh, I see the... I see the Packers dropping the Rams game and the Patriots game. So they already got the tie. We know that a tie is better than a loss. So that's one thing that the Lions have to have a better record in the win co in the loss column than the Packers. They got to be they got to be better. So that win last week for the Lions was huge. So um I see them dropping I can see them dropping all three. But I said, I, I, you know, I'm, that's my Lions fans talking, Lions fan in me. But realistically, they win Monday night and they drop the game against the Rams and the Patriots. Patriots is Monday night. Rams are so they could they could end up at three, four and one at the end of the midway point. So that would be um, right now the Lions could have a better record, would have a better record in that scenario than the Green Bay Packers. Now, let's check out Minnesota here. Okay, so Minnesota got the win yesterday against a horrible Cardinals team. They play the Jets. I'm not sure who shows up, who wins that game. I, I feel like the, the Vikings will probably win, and then they play the Saints and then the Lions. So let's just realistically say they they split. They lose against the Saints and they beat the Jets. That puts them at 4-3 and 1. And then we got the Lions game. So that November 4th could right now be huge for both of these teams, but we're talking about the Detroit Lions in this video. So that game could be huge. It actually could be a game for first place. Now, I know some people out there are going to, you know, probably have a hard time with this video. But after last yesterday's or, yeah, after yesterday's, in the, the the outcome of week six, then, you know, it's, it's, it's up in the air. It really is. The best thing for the Lions and Lions fans is that nobody is really running away with the division. I had said that a few videos ago that no one is running away with the division for the NFC North. So that's huge because usually when the Lions are horrible, there's somebody running away with the division. And usually when they're good, there's somebody just right above them that they just, they're always a game or two behind. And then they, it comes down to where they play that team and they can make a a, a dent in the the lead or the game gap. And then they lay an egg or and just, just falter and, and they can't close it. Then they wind up a wild card or missing the playoffs completely. So I think that the, the Vikings will beat the jets. They'll lose against the saints and that'll put us to us. Now, of course, as a lions fan, I've got to, as of right now, I say we beat them. You know, I'm going to say we beat every team. That's how I'm going to say, although it's not realistic and it probably won't happen, but I have to, I have to keep hoping. And that's what I was saying a few minutes ago is I'm tired of hoping. I'm sure all Lions fans are just sick and tired of hoping. They want with confidence to say that our our team is going to win this game. We're going to do this. We're going to destroy people. But that's not where we're at right now. So that puts the going into the game with the Lions, that puts the Minnesota Vikings at 4-3-1. and one. And at that point, if if I predict that we win all three games and and we do, then we'll be um, four three. We'll be four and three. So that game could be huge because if we beat them, we'll go to five and three. They'll go to I want to say four four and one, which will put us in in first place. Now let's look at the Chicago Bears here. See what their schedule is. Now, their schedule, man, okay, they also have a split schedule. They play the Patriots, and, and you know what? When the Lions beat the Patriots, they looked real suspect. And everybody kept saying, okay, shout, you know, we'll pat the Lions on the back. But the Patriots are sleeping. And when they, when they awake, then they're going to be the Patriots that we all know. And that's exactly what's happening. So they've won the last two games, and... I mention them because they are the Bears' next opponent. 
The Bears play them in week seven, then to the Jets, uh, then to the Bills. And then out of that game, after that game, then they play the Lions. So this next quarter of the season, well, we already started the quarter, the second quarter, but this next three weeks is going to be huge for every team in the NFC North. And I appreciate this this year because, like I said, there's no team that is destroying the division, which means that we just started the second quarter. We're not even at the halfway point of the season yet, and it really is up for grabs. It might not seem like it uh, with Chicago at 3-2, and two, Minnesota at 3-2-1, and one, Green Bay 2-2-1, two, two and, and Detroit at 2-3. and three. Any other year, that two and three would almost spell disaster for any hope at the playoffs. Um, and if we look at the, let's look at the conference here. You know what? If I thought about it, I probably should have been recording my screen too. I could have put this actually in the the uh, the video. The more you know. So if we look at the conference here, um, come on, man. Okay, the, the Detroit Lions are, of course, well out of the playoffs. Top six teams are uh, the Rams, the Saints, the Redskins, the Bears, the Panthers, and the Vikings. With the Seahawks at seven, Dallas at eight, Philadelphia at nine, Green Bay at ten, Tampa Bay at eleven, with the Detroit Lions um 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, the Detroit Lions in 12. So right now there are six spots out of the current playoff standing. You know what's sad is that it's early in the year. Basically from the very beginning of the year, you can you start looking at the playoffs. Like, I don't want to rush the season. We have to wait eight or nine months for it to start or whatever. I think it's really like six from February to August. We have to wait. But from the very beginning of the season, we're looking at playoff standings. And, you know, also football is one of them sports that after four weeks, it's it can be over for your team. Uh, it's a lot of teams in this in the league that it's already in their fan base. It's over for it's over for the Colts. It's over for the Raiders. Uh, it's pretty much over for the Broncos, Beals and Browns. I'm just going to keep it real uh, on it on the north side, the NFC. Um, the Giants, the Cardinals, and the Niners is pretty much over for. Um, I think at the other half, Atlanta looked terrible, but they got the win yesterday. It would have been over for them had they lost. So it's just like that. The Lions are right on that bubble at, that it can be over after this quarter. If they drop these three games and they go two and six, then we've seen the Lions win the last seven of eight. So it's with us, it's not really over, but in all realistic fashion, it's in, in all realism, it probably is over. So uh, if they drop the next three games, but they've, in my opinion, they got to win and they can win all of them. So I believe that the Lions can be on top of the division a month from now. Well, three games from now, uh, they need to win all three. Um, of course, I'm going to say that they can, but I believe with the schedule that they have, let's go back and forgot that quick who it is. And next time, guys, I will put this so you guys won't just have to look at my face for however many minutes this winds up being. So we've got, what did I say? Come on. Dolphins, Seahawks, and Vikings. And we got the Seahawks at home. So that's 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 crucial. Honestly, the Lions can win all three. Um, I want them to win all three. Of course I do. But if I had to like be realistic they could the Dolphins game is kind of like a, eh, you never know what Lion team is going to show up we got problems uh with Seattle but thankfully it's in Detroit and the Vikings I mean we can beat them we've done it before um we split the series with them last year so we can take the first game this year they don't look that good so anyway guys those are my thoughts uh that the Lions uh, can they they can they have potential to uh, be in the division lead at the halfway point of the season uh, I would love for them to go three and oh I'm just going to say that they're going to go three and oh over the next three weeks but as Lions fans we all know that that's probably not a 
accurate prediction. Uh, I do see uh, all the rest of the NFC North teams dropping uh, at least one or two games out of the next three. And the week after the fourth game from now for the Lions is against the Vikings. I believe it is week eight or nine. So that's going to be huge, and that could be for first place. But all this is speculation, uh, a little bit of hope. As the Lions fans, we got to have hope. We need, you need, they need to change their logo to the Superman icon because it, it, supposedly that means hope on Crip Time. So we need to, we need some hope. So they, maybe they should go to Detroit Hopes or something because that's what we always have. We hope and we wish that our our team can, you know, come out the gate. And just be like the rest of the team. Think about it. All the other teams have done it. The Bears, the Packers, and the Vikings have come out and dominated. And like I said, I think the year the Lions went 11-5. and five. Uh, They should have had a better record that year too. Uh, one of the teams, it was either the Packers or the Vikings, was like 13-3. and three. We just could not close the gap. We wound up going to the wild card and um, losing it. And even two years ago when the Lions, I forgot what their record was. When the Lions, let me see if I can pull it up. When they went, um, what was it? It was two seasons ago, right? Where they went into Dallas and they lost. And they like dropped the last three games of the year and then stumbled into the playoffs. I can't remember who they played, but then they got throttled by them. And everybody knew, uh, was it, C oh, Seattle. They went into Seattle and got beat. We all hoped that they would win. Matter of fact, that's that's the last time they played them. I forgot all about that. They lost the last three games. And um, let me see. I'm sure this video is running a bit long. Anyway, everybody, all the Lions fans know what's happening. So that's what I. That's my prediction. Lions go three and zero. That's my hope prediction. And they take over control of the NFC North with the uh, game against the Vikings. I think I said November the fourth which could put the Lions very well in fourth place. But we know it's any given Sunday, and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, guys, it's your boy, Derek P. Phils. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I appreciate it. I'm everywhere with this channel, um, so I appreciate all my subscribers and things like that. Don't forget to hit that subscription button uh, if you like what I do. Uh, give me a thumbs up as well. I appreciate that. Uh, on my way to 1,000 subscribers, I got to say, I'm going to just throw this in here at the last last part of the video here. I am appreciating the YouTube grind. Uh, it has been a grind for me. Um, I've had this channel for 11 years, and it has been a grind to try to um, get to a thousand subs. Now everybody knows that you know you can make money at a thousand subs, and that's fine. But it, it's going to be cents on the dollar as far as videos and stuff like that. But that that helps motivate people. Um, but for me. It's it's a it's a grind and I appreciate the grind. It's been uh, six months or 10, actually eight months since uh, I got monetization dropped. I have met the hourly qualifications. I'm over that by quite a bit now. Um, so all I'm waiting on is the thousand subs and then I'm sure YouTube will quickly. I think they'll quickly monetize my channel probably within a month. I hear a lot of people struggling with the, the monetization aspect. Uh, it could be for several reasons that you don't meet the hourly count but i hit that probably in april or may and um i respect the grind i'm actually i respect it more because of what i have to do so i can't worry about monetization and ads and how much money my small channel is making because i'm nowhere near that so all so right now as i'm building up to a subscriber base i am focusing on the quality of my channel not just pumping out videos and stuff not that i was doing that stuff but you know um i appreciate the grind so anyway guys thank you so much for being a part of this channel i've said that already before and i will talk to you guys later Derek p fields is out and go lions